Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another awesome PrestaShop video. So today we're going to see something extremely useful for debugging out template issues you might be having in PrestaShop. So say you're trying to customize something or you have a problem in any um, part of your template. What you usually do is right click and try to understand where the code comes from, right? So this is the home slider. and um, uh, since PrestaShop uses modules, you might not exactly know what is what and what is where. So in this case, this is uh, the home slider module. It's pretty easy to tell because it has um, a comment, right? But oftentimes it happens that there is no comment and even the ID or classes of a specific box are not useful or not helping. So today we're going to see how to find exactly what template is being displayed in a specific part of the DOM in PrestaShop 1.6. Bear in mind, this little trick doesn't work in PrestaShop 1.7 at the time being. So um, what we want to do is um, hook or modify part of the display method of the module class so that every module, no matter what module it is, will display um, the template name into the DOM. So we're going to do it with comments, but I will show you what happens uh, if I just echo it out. So in my uh, PrestaShop installation, I will reach classes, module, and I'll open up module.php. So I'm going to scroll down to the display method. And uh, right at the end, you can see it's returning the result, which is basically the HTML for the template. So what we want to do is um, first try to append the template name. So this is uh, the template name here, but PrestaShop has a very, very useful method that um, allows us to display the whole path of the template, which is, uh, I think I have this uh, variable already. So uh, TPL path is gonna be this get template path, and I'm gonna pass in the template name, all right? So if I do this in append or prepend in this case, in this case uh, TPL path to our result and save, then I refresh. Let me just refresh here. You can see it's creating a little bit of mess, but it's um, appending more or less uh, where the the block is, the name of the template with the full path. Now this is not exactly useful because because um, some modules are or might be. Um, absolutely positioned and some are floating so you, you can't tell exactly what is what although it's it's kind of obvious um, sometimes like in this case block card is this one right um, you can see it's also using the themes the themes one and not the original pretty useful already right um, so what we want to do is add an HTML comment instead so that we know exactly where it is here in the inspector so what I will do is just <clears throat> Um, down here, I will edit result, which is the HTML again, and it's going to be a string. So HTML comment, just simple comment, start, then I'm going to pass in um, this, uh, sorry, I have it already, so I will do the TPL path. And then I'm going to close the comment. Then I'm going to append result, which is the HTML. So it's going to be wrapped. And then again, I will use a comment. And I will use, in this case, end TPL path. All right, save. So if I refresh now, those should be gone. I mean, hard refresh actually. Uh, I think I, oops, forgot to get rid of it. Once more. All right, so if I inspect now, say uh, the cart block, inspect, and you can see uh, this block actually had comments, but in case it didn't, we can see it's um, themes default bootstrap modules block cart slash block cart dot TPL. So we know it's the block cart module and we know exactly what template it is. And this uh, is really gonna save you hours 
uh, of searching and scrubbing through folders uh, for finding exactly what template is doing what and uh, this this way you will not just wonder why something is not being modified even if the file is because you will know exactly which file is uh, the right one that is displayed. Now, you obviously don't want to do this, um, don't want to, uh, sorry, leave this turned on on a live shop. So what you want to do is um, check if uh, we have result first and then if ps mode, sorry, it's um, prefix ps mode dev equals to true. So if we are using dev mode, if dev mode is enabled, then we are going to display that content. All right, so if I go ahead and refresh, now I think my uh, debug mode is disabled. So it seems it's not. So we'll open up um, defines. Now we'll check, so it's enabled. I will disable it. I will refresh again and they should really be gone at this point. So inspect. All right, so these are the uh, standard, um, sorry, the original comments. And you can see ours are gone. I will turn it on again. True, refresh. I'll check again. And you can see they are back. Awesome. All right, this is everything for today's video, and I wanted to mention that this features uh, this feature, sorry, comes by default with the latest build of 30Bs at the time of this recording. If you want to find out more, check out uh, 30Bs.com for more information about it. So I think we're done with this tutorial. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.